I think I have enough time to do the absolute values. With you guys, I do. Okay, so we're going to graph it. Remember the other day we made a table? Let's make a table. But we do know a couple things. We do know that our vertex is going to be up to 3, right, because it's on the outside, so it's up. And we know that the number's on the outside. So if the number's on the outside, what did we learn? Is it going to be compressed or stretched? It's on the outside. What did you guys say? It's actually going to be um, stretched, and it's going to be vertical. It's stretched because it's bigger than a, it's, um, it's a whole number, and it's on the outside, so it's vertical. So that means it's going to be smaller. So um, let's go ahead and make our little table. You guys, there's nothing wrong with making a table. I just want you to know. That's a perfectly fine way. Um, we need some negative numbers and we need some positive numbers. We just have to be careful. We can't go too high. Seven. So we'll just do um, negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. Those will give us perfectly, and we probably need to do three because you'll see why we have to do three. No, oh, we don't have to do, no, we can't do three anyways. Okay, you ready? Um, what is, so if we plug in negative two, the absolute value of negative two is, two times two is, four plus three is, okay. So um, the absolute value of negative 2 was 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. Now we're going to plug in negative 1. 2 times the absolute value of negative 1 would be, so the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. The absolute value of 0 is 0 times 2 is 0, 0 plus 3 is Three. And see, that's our vertex. Our vertex went from 0, 0 to 0, 3. Well, and I, when we graph it, you'll see that. The absolute value of 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then 2 times the absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 3 is. And we didn't need that 3. And let's graph it. And it, you guys, it's going to be a solid, a solid line because there's an equal to. So negative 2, 7, negative 1, 5, 0, 3, 1, 5, 2, 7. See those mirror images, you guys? Okay, so now, when you shade an absolute value, you're either going to shade inside the V or outside the V, okay? Those are your two options. So either inside or outside. Again, we're going to plug in, we're going to take an ordered pair. We're going to plug it in one for Y and one for X. So let's plug in zero, zero, okay? Zero for Y, zero for X. Zero is less than, well, we already know what, what, what happens when we plug in. Oh, so zero, two times zero is zero plus three. So is zero less than or equal to three? Is that a true statement? So this is where zero, zero is. So I'm going to shade on the outside of the absolute value. So when you shade for absolute values, you guys, you're either going to shade inside the V or outside the V. Those are your two options. 